hello everyone welcome back to another episode of my unreal engine third person shooter game so in this episode we are going to work on the physics asset of the character so when we enable the ragdoll it will simulate a human body but uh, please note that I haven't finalized this physics asset uh, yet in this episode I'm going to add these uh, physics bodies and after that part I'm going to add I'm going to refine these physics constraints so so far this is the progress so this doesn't look very realistic but because that's because I haven't worked on the constraints yet so yeah in this episode let's add the physics bodies and then let's proceed so that's what I'm going to do in this episode and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so this is the way my ragdoll looks when i kill the character at the moment see it doesn't look uh, realistic at all Okay, so let's um, open the character mesh. And the relevant physics asset. So this is the automatically generated physics asset. Let's uh, start working on this now. We yeah okay shall we start from the hand oh wait what are these let's make first make the head a little smaller to fit the head right and what's this That's the spine too. Okay. Right, it seems all right. Let's move it down a little bit. And what's this big one? A spine. Let's remove that because we have enough rigid bodies here. Physics bodies, right? What are these called? Physics body. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's make or reduce the size of these to match the calf. And these two also way bigger than uh, they should be.
we can disable snapping like this if you want so we can fit the rigid bodies perfectly to the place we need Okay. Right, legs seems all right now. So what else? Um, what are the, What is this? Okay, hips. Uh, it doesn't have to be this big. Also, the orientation is wrong. Seems all right. Right now, what's this one? spine one that is also too big and the orientation is wrong Okay, they look fine now to me. Not perfect, but I think it would be good enough. So let me save this and simulate, see what happens. Better than what we had before, but still not perfect. And the major problem is because here the hand doesn't bend in the elbow so let's move this part like this This is uh, attached to the left shoulder. Yeah, this is attached to the left arm. I think I need one for the left forearm as well. Yeah, let's add a capsule there. Wrong orientation, I guess. Yeah.
let's fix this one as well okay mm. shall we simulate and see what happens all right so here you see this odd problem why is that that's because we haven't attached we haven't set up constraints for this rigid body this uh, physics body so in order to fix that we have to add a constraint to left for a how to add a constraint All right we need to constrain the left forearm with the left arm let's move this constraint here and I'll set them limited to 5 degrees or and now let's see what happens okay that seems not fine actually not realistic but better than what we had before so this constraint now it should be constrained with the yeah this is left hand and left arm instead of it should be left hand and left forearm so how can I change it ah, here we can let me copy the board name and select the constraint left forearm right oh what happened there Ah, it's fine. What? Okay, it's fine now. All right, now let's do the same thing to the right hand. First, let's make this part smaller. and then let's add another physics body to write for uh, okay now let's add uh, just like before let's add a constraint here to the forearm constraint with the right 
arm. And let's move it here. And I'll set all the constraint to limited and bio. That's only temporary. I need to refine those values later. Let's simulate. Oh, nothing happened. Right. Okay, better than what we had before, but it's still not perfect. It doesn't look like human at all. Let's see how it looks in the game. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stop uh, this episode at this point and we have yet to refine the these joint uh, rotation limits. We have to refine the constraint, physics constraint for each of these joints to mimic or simulate an actual human body. For example, this knee should not bend to forward it should bend only this way uh, like 90 degrees so like that uh, we have to refine this physics constraint to simulate a human body and I'll do that part in the next episode